need a Dropbox. I mean, a place where people from outside your company can upload files, but they can't see what other files are already there. Things like getting forms sent in from field staff or getting invoices sent to you from vendors are great examples of where you might want to use this. Well, there are a bunch of solutions out there that are sometimes expensive, sometimes complex, but there's a super easy one that you're probably already paying for, and that is Microsoft's OneDrive request files feature. That comes with all of the Microsoft 365, formerly Office 365 solutions. And if you're a company, you probably already have this. So let's show you how to use it. It's easy. What you want to do is surf to onedrive.com. Personally, I usually go through portal.office.com and then click on OneDrive. But to skip a step, we'll just go to onedrive.com. And if you haven't signed in already, sign in. Okay, so here's my OneDrive. Now let's show you how to create this repository and then how it actually works. So in my case, I already have OneDrive syncing my desktop documents and photos. And I think I'd like a folder on my desktop because it's visual, it's right in my face. And that's where I want these files to go that are coming in from outside. So let's just do that. I'm gonna click on my desktop folder here. I'm going to click new in the top left-hand corner and select folder. And let's pretend I'm going to use this to get reports from field staff. So I'm going to call this field reports. You can call it anything you want. It doesn't make any difference. All right, so now I've got a folder called field reports. Now I can click the three dots at the end here and I can select request files. That's the feature most people aren't using. And I can go into here and uh, this field reports name that is just what I see. What do you want the people that you're receiving files from to see? Well, I wanna call this your daily reports. How's that? Something simple like that. You can call it anything you want, including field reports. You can call it the same thing. And you can see here, recipients will only be able to upload files. That's what we're gonna do. So let's click next. I'd like to interject for just 10 seconds and ask you to click like if you found this video useful. Our site is dedicated to explaining technology in simple ways and providing cookbook answers for technical problems. We spend a lot of time on Windows 10 and Windows Server. We spend a lot of time on Azure, Office 365, but mostly our products are about how-tos. Lots and lots of cookbooks like how to uninstall something when it's stuck. If you would click subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it. It really helps us with the Google algorithm. Thanks for your help and back to the show. Now, I can put in their email address and the system will email them the link and I can put a message in explaining what I'm doing here. But for the sake of expediency, I'm just gonna click copy link and copy this direct link. So this is open to anyone. And you think, well, that's a security risk. Not really. They can't see what's there and they can't download. It's strictly upload. So click copy link in my case. And again, I could just go to an email and paste it in and send it off to somebody. I could text it to somebody. I could get it to them however I want. Okay, I'm gonna click done here just to clear that up. And now I'm gonna open a separate browser session. I'm gonna uh, go to in private. So you can see this is an in private session, which basically just means that it doesn't interact with my other sessions. So this is just completely separate paste the link in and boom this is what we get Ian Matthews is requesting files for your daily reports so check this out I'll click select files and I want to upload not just one file I want to upload three files so I'm going to upload this one this one and this one and I also want to upload this end user agreement this ULA just for fun I click open but you could just do one, but you don't have to. In this case, I'm going to put Johnny McField, right? So fake field user, but well, you get the idea. I'll click upload, watch this. When I go back to my field reports, there they are. And you'll see it prefixed these files with the name that was entered. That's pretty handy. So for a lot of people that are watching this, you're done. You can download the files, you can delete them, you can do whatever you want. But in my case, I already have my desktop syncing with my OneDrive. So that means now if I minimize this and I look at my desktop, I'll have a folder called Field Reports, and there are the files. 
How's that for cool? Yeah, and you think, well, I don't want people uploading and crashing my system because I have a small hard drive. Well, that won't happen if they uploaded giant files. See this little cloud folder? That means that they're still in the cloud. They're still on Office 365. They're not actually on your computer. So let's open up this end user agreement, which is the big one, big half a meg. <laughs> we'll open it up and you'll see it downloads it instantly. And you can see it's now got a green check mark. That's actually now on my system. And I can do whatever I want with it. I can, I can even, you know, I can delete them. Gone. Uh, I can rename them. Uh, let's go with this. And I'll call this uh, uh, processed mar 22 2021 something simple and if i wait a second see this little syncing icon here this will change and now when i go back to my onedrive i see look the uh, one of the files is gone one of them has been renamed and i can show you something a little more advanced that really might save you and your company a lot of time and effort so let's go back just one step to desktop so I can see that field reports folder to share that folder with somebody else inside the company. If they were invoices, maybe there's an accounts receivable or accounts payable person that would want to have access. If it's field reports like I've got here, maybe I've got a team of three or four people. Easy to share this with them so they can all see it, all work on it at the same time, all edit it at the same time. Simple to do. I can either go into my OneDrive and I can select the three dots at the end and select share. And I can enter the email address of whoever I want. So there I've added Patricia and it's set to anyone with the link in edit, but I could change that to specific people, which is definitely the more secure way to do it. And I would like them to be able to edit it. There we go. And now I can click send and Patricia and I are the only two people that can edit those files and actually see what's in that folder. I could also just click copy link and send that link directly to Patricia through my own Outlook and that would be fine. So I'm going to close that and show you how to do that on your desktop. Same thing. What you would do is, let's close this. What you would do is you'd right click on the folder in question. You'd go to share. And I would just do the same thing. So in here, I'm going to change this from anyone can edit to no, only specific people can edit. Why? And in this case, I'm going to add Patricia. She's the only one I trust. And again, I could add a message here and click send and she'll get an email. Or I could click copy link and I could send that off to her through a text or through whatever other system I wanted, through email, telepathy, smoke signals, you know, whatever you want. Just get her the link. Beautiful. If you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate it if you click like. It super helps with the Google algorithms. Subscribe is also really appreciated. Now, you can always get a hold of us by putting a comment below, and we'll get back to you within a day or so. Or you can get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca, U-R-T-E-C-H.ca. Thanks, and have a great day.